Hello friends, I hope you must have watched earlier videos of this series where we have done unboxing of the Fire TV stick and its installation. In this video, let's learn the complete setup procedure of Fire TV stick. Before this, I request you to subscribe our channel A1 Help if you have not yet subscribed. Also click on bell icon for notifications of our forthcoming videos. We will be regularly uploading useful videos of common interest. I hope by now you must have connected the Fire TV stick with your TV. In case you have energized Fire TV stick through the USB port of the TV, you need to switch on TV and if you have energized the Fire TV stick through the power adapter, switch on the TV first and then the power adapter. Fire TV stick is booting for the first time. To pair Fire TV stick with voice remote, you need to press the home button on the remote. I hope you must have already inserted the batteries in the remote. If not, please do the same and press the home button. Sometime it happens that by pressing the home button only once, pairing may not succeed. In such cases, you need to keep retrying and if it still fails, you have to keep home button pressed for 10 seconds to pair. As soon as the pairing is successful, this screen will appear. Now let's press play and pause button. Here there are options to select the language. You can scroll down to your desired language and press the select button. If you want to know all about the functions of voice remote, please refer to the last part of our Fire TV Stick unboxing video. Video link is given in the description below. Here are options to select the Wi-Fi network. You can scroll to your network and press select button. My broadband Wi-Fi is down, hence I am using mobile hotspot. Here I am not able to see my hotspot link, so I will scroll to rescan for Wi-Fi networks and press select button. After the network is scanned, few more available networks have appeared. I will scroll back. Now I am able to see my mobile hotspot Redmi. I will scroll to Redmi and press select button. In case you don't see your network name, you can always rescan Wi-Fi networks to resolve the issue. Now it is asking for network security password. Fill in the password. Scroll to connect and press select button. Or you can directly press play and pause button to connect. Network is connected and Fire TV Stick operating system is getting updated. Here there are options for registration. In case you are not registered with Amazon, register yourself through a mobile or a computer. If you already have an Amazon account, click on register. Here provide your Amazon login ID. Click next. Here fill up the password. Now click on sign in. Registration is complete. Here it is asking for registration account confirmation. If you want, you can change your Amazon account here or click on yes continue as to confirm. The account can be changed later on also, so nothing to worry. Now it is asking whether to save your Wi-Fi password on Amazon site. You can choose whatever you like. I will go for no. Here there are options for parental control. In case you want to restrict your kids access to specific videos and apps, you can go for enable parental controls option. Otherwise you can go for no parental controls option. Let's see what is there in enable parental controls. It's enabling.
Let's enter 5 digit pin here using the navigation ring and select button designated with different digits. To enter digits 5 to 9, click menu button and use the navigation ring and select button. Here re-enter the pin to confirm. Go through this pop-up window about default pin protection and click OK to confirm. Alexa voice demo has started. Here we can choose free apps to download and install after the selection. I will click on choose apps and select few of them to be installed. These apps and many more can be installed later on whenever we wish. Press play and pause button to continue. Click on download apps. Here we can set limits for data consumed to get auto notifications to monitor our net uses. Click enable data monitoring. Here we can select the video quality to control the data uses. I will go for option best as I have an unlimited data plan. I am just curious to know how much monthly data is consumed for an average user. Let's click next. Here let's feed desired data limit in GB for notifications. Click next. Here let's enter the first day of our monthly data cycle. The apps we selected for installation is getting installed in the background. Click next. In the confirmation window, let's click done. Setup is over and we are on the home page. Let's go to preferences under settings menu. Let's fill up the pin here to enter the settings preferences. Let's click on parental controls. Here we can change the settings including viewing restrictions. Here we can change the data monitoring settings. Let's go to help now. Here we can re-watch the Alexa voice demo. We can also watch videos on other topics like basics, troubleshooting etc. We are back on home page. In the coming video of this series, I will cover short tour of Fire TV Stick and installation procedure of apps like Hotstar, Downloader and Kodi. Let's conclude this video here. If you found this video useful, 
please hit the thumbs up icon please also share this video in your social circle it will encourage us to upload more videos if you have not yet subscribed our channel please do subscribe our channel a1 help please also click on bell icon to get notifications of our forthcoming videos for any query or suggestion please leave a message in the comment box let's meet again in next video thanks for watching till end